This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Today's video is pretty exciting because I'm taking a visit here to a pro lab in New York City. I'm gonna drop off a couple rolls there that I shot this past weekend in New Jersey for a new separate little series that I'm working on, which I'll tell you more about in the future. I think that's pretty exciting. I have the impression that a lot of people drop off their film at a lab and they're not sure what happens to it after. So it should be really cool to follow that process. But for now, I'm gonna go to the lab, drop off the rolls, and we're gonna walk you through every step of the process from things like how they develop the film and scan it to send it to you as a digital file. Today we're at Picture House, the small dark room. They're a pro lab here based in New York City. They do everything from developing and scanning your film all the way to much cooler things like printing exhibitions and digital retouching for professional photo projects, which is really cool. They're kind enough to show you today how their lab works and specifically we're gonna be developing and scanning some of my film for my New Jersey project, which you guys have seen. So it should be a pretty fun day and I hope you enjoy the tour. What we normally do here is we process all kinds of 35, 120, 220, 4x5, and even 8x10 film. We do our color C41 uh, through a machine called a Reframa. It's an old machine and it's a beautiful machine. Unfortunately, there are not too many of those left. Okay, so this is the uh, hand processing room, all black and white, just out of this room. Whatever film developer the client might want that I can get my hands on, I can set them in secondary tanks. I can dilute them. I can do stock solutions. So normally we would receive the film and I would rack them up here, do a quick log entry so I can keep track of everything. And I do a preliminary setup here. I break the seal, put it on the racks. So I've set up a, a, a rack of color film. And what I initially do is I come over here and I just double check my settings make sure I've got plenty of chemistry. Uh, this is my C41 processing machine. It can handle about 100, over 100 rolls of an hour if I wanted to continually feed it, so I could do a lot of film through it. So come follow me. I'm gonna go into this uh, rotary door. You can follow me once I go through. This is the, the intake part. The other side of the machine is basically houses the dryer. That big part right there, uh, other than the, the computer board that operates everything, is mostly an empty cavity for the dryer. And uh, the processing time is pretty short. It's uh, just over an hour. Yeah, it has to be done absolutely in the dark. So once you've gotten used to this room, I know where every inch and corner is in the dark. I, I don't have to crawl around on the floor. I know where everything is. My biggest thing about this machine is keeping it clean because obviously if the machine's dirty, the product is going to be dirty. So I'm a stickler for cleanliness on this machine. I'm constantly cleaning it, uh, refilling it, repairing it if it needs repairs. As long as I do that, then feeding the machine is the simplest part because it'll take it and go with it. So now that that's in the first wash tank, it's safe to turn the light on. And you get to see, you know, for your viewers, you'll be able to see what it looks like when the machine is processing it on its own. I can open these doors and take a look and there's your film. So a lab like this will generally scan on a scanner called a Noritsu HS1800. This is a really high-end scanner that can process a ton of film at once. The technician at the lab takes control over the colors that your film is putting out as well as the contrast levels. Um, this is our Noritsu scanner. It's what we use for all of our roll scans. It's fast and efficient and we love it. You can adjust the color. There's three channels you can adjust and the density. So at this point, you could tell the lab technician if you do have special requests for how you want your film to look, whether you want it to be more flat or more contrasty, as well as what kind of colors you would like it to have. I definitely think it's pretty special to see that whole roll come up on the screen at once and the resolution that you can get from these scanners 
is ridiculous considering how fast this machine works. We definitely did my five rolls in what felt like under five minutes and you can see that the files look absolutely great. I'll definitely explain a little more about what this project is in the future as well as take you behind the scenes on shooting it. But I thought this whole process was incredibly cool to see. At this point, there still is a lot that can be done to the film to take it further in terms of finishing. You can do things like get contact prints made or hand prints made in the dark room, which I think is a whole different topic that we'll save for a future video, which should be pretty exciting as well. It really is a process that takes a lot of attention to detail and these people do it really well. So if you do need some film processed in New York, definitely check out Picture House, the small dark room. Aside from that, I want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is an incredible online website building platform that you can use to build your photography portfolio and showcase your work online. I've had my website on Squarespace for over two years and everything from their super customizable templates to the 24-7 online customer support makes it so easy to get a website with your photography up and running. You can hit the link in my description for a two month free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Willem for 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I appreciate it. Aside from that, you can now check out a new episode of the C41 podcast on Spotify or Apple podcast or the dedicated YouTube channel, which is really fun. The next episode of that will be out this Friday, which is with my friend Dino Kuznick. He's an incredible photographer and he just put out a book, which you may have seen me talk about before. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. That's it for now. Peace.